Ah, the check engine light. Every car owner's unexpected puzzle in the dash. So you found yourself tackling one of the most common offenders, a faulty gas cap. You've done the replacement, great first step. However, that pesky light remains on, blankly staring at you as if to say, what's next? First off, understand that your car's onboard diagnostic system, OBD2 in most cars post 1996, needs to run through a series of checks before it'll turn off the light. Simply replacing the gas cap won't immediately reset the check engine light. The system needs to verify that the issue has truly been resolved. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you through this. 1. Drive your car and let it self-reset. The most straightforward method is to drive your car. Most vehicles require a few cycles of driving to reset the check engine light, a cycle being a cold start that warms up to full operating temperature and then cools back down. This could take several days of regular driving. In Portland city traffic, you've got a mix of stop and go plus some freeway stretches, ideal for this kind of task. Two, use a code scanner. If patience isn't your strongest suit or you just want to expedite the process, using an OBD2 scanner is your best bet. Here's how. Connect the scanner to the OBD2 port, usually found under the dashboard on the driver's side. Follow the device's prompts to scan for codes. Once you've confirmed that no other issues are present except for the previously faulty gas cap, clear the codes. This should reset your check engine light. You can borrow, rent, or buy an OBD2 scanner fairly cheaply. For a Portlander, places like auto parts stores or even some libraries might offer this tool for rent. 3. Disconnect the battery. As a last resort, if the above methods don't work or you don't have access to a scanner, you can try disconnecting the car battery for a minute. This will reset the car's computer, essentially forgetting the check engine light was triggered. Make sure your vehicle is off. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Wait for about a minute. Reconnect the terminal. Note that this will reset your radio presets and may affect other electronic systems in your car. Use this method as a last resort. Remember, if your check engine light comes back on after these attempts, it's likely indicating a different issue that needs attention. In the spirit of Portland's DIY ethos, it never hurts to learn more about your vehicle's needs, but don't shy away from professional help when required. Driving around Portland, whether it's a scenic drive through the Columbia River Gorge or a quick trip to Powell's Books, should be free of dashboard light worries. Hopefully, with these tips, you'll clear that light and be back to enjoying the drive.